Suppose I have a matrix Q that contains the following elements. It's a 3 by 3 matrix. It will contain a 2, negative 4, 7, 8, 1 half, 3, 6, negative 9, and 5. Okay, now I want to find the determinant of this matrix. So the determinant of matrix Q, I'm going to rewrite this. I'm going to rewrite this 3 by 3 matrix. So it has 2, negative 4, 7 along the first row, 8, 1 half, 3 along the second row, and 6, negative 9, and 5 along the third row. Now these first two columns, this column and this column, I'm going to recopy over here. So 2, 8, 6, negative 4, 1 half, and negative 9. Okay. So now to calculate the determinant of this matrix, uh, first I'm going to multiply along these diagonals. So this diagonal, this diagonal, and this diagonal. Okay, so multiplying along this diagonal, what I will have is 5. Multiplying along this diagonal, I will have negative 72. And multiplying along this diagonal, I will have negative 504. Okay, and then I'm going to multiply along uh, the three diagonals that go in the opposite direction. So I'm going to multiply along this diagonal, along this diagonal, and along this diagonal. Okay, now multiplying along that first diagonal, 7 times 1 half times 6, that's uh, 21. And multiplying along this diagonal, 2 times 3 times negative 9, that's negative 54. And multiplying along this diagonal, negative 4 times 8 times 5, that's negative 160. Okay, so now those uh, first three numbers that I obtained, those green numbers, I'm going to add those together. You see these green numbers here? Uh, the determinant will be 5 plus negative 72 plus uh, negative 504 uh, minus the uh, red values that I obtained. So now I'm going to subtract 21 minus uh, negative 54 minus negative 160. Okay, so the determinant will be given by uh, whatever this turns out to be once I do that calculation. So 5 plus negative 72 plus negative 504 minus 21 minus the negative 54 minus negative 160 turns out to be negative 378. And so that is the determinant of matrix Q, a negative 378.